Hi everybody, this is Joe at Blurb, and today we're going to talk about the Blurb Book Creator, the new plugin for Adobe InDesign. The plugin allows you to create all of the print and ebook possibilities that are currently available with Blurb. The plugin now allows you to upload any print book that you have as an ebook, as well as a specific new template designed specifically for the Apple iPad. Also, a brand new 8.5 inch by 11 inch template that allows printing on the inside covers, and new pre-flighting, and an upload that all happens all within Adobe InDesign. The plugin can be found at blurb.com under the apps right here at Adobe InDesign plugin. This will bring you to the InDesign download page where we have lots of information and FAQs, which I suggest reading prior to downloading the plugin. There are different plugins for each version of Adobe InDesign. So be sure to download the correct one for your Mac or Windows machine and the version of InDesign. Once downloaded, simply double click on the installer and follow the directions and your Adobe InDesign plugin will be installed directly into your particular version of InDesign. Once installed, the Blurb Book Creator can be found right here at the bottom of the file menu. Selecting it will bring up the plugin window, which will keep track of all your new projects. This button here is how you start a book. And if you have any questions, there's a help link right here. So let's go through starting a book. Let's click Start Book, enter a title in there for your book, an author, and then we'll choose a book size. This will allow you to select any one of the blurb book sizes that you'd like. Any of the paper options that are available for that particular trim size are available, and all the cover types that are available and then enter a, an approximate number of pages you think your book will be. You can change this later and then click Create Pages Template. The plugin will then create a precisely dimensioned template for you to design either your print or your ebook. The template also contains a lot of information as far as where the bleed line is, where you should pull images out to go off the page, a black trim line, which will show you where the book will trim, and a safe art boundary where you should keep all text and important elements within. It's good to note that all print books begin with a single right-hand page, page 1, followed by 2 and 3, which is a spread, and continues that way all the way through the book until your last page, which is the left-hand page, which will be viewed before closing the book. Once you've finished creating your pages template and know exactly how many pages you have in your book, go back to the Blurb Book Creator, update the number of pages, and click Create Cover Template. The plugin will then create a template for your cover. It's a one-page document with the front cover on the right, the spine in the middle, and the back cover on the left. Our 8.5 11 size also has a second page which will print on the inside covers, the only book size that allows this. One thing to note here is that the instructions on this are in a non-printing, non-exporting layer, which can be hidden by clicking on the eyeball here. None of the instructions will export to your book. I've now finished my design my cover and my pages of my book and I'm ready to upload. Simply go back to the Blurb Book Creator. You can check the pricing here. You can select whether you want to upload this as a print book or an ebook. You select the logo page or remove the logo page and there's volume pricing information. Then simply click Upload Your Book. The plugin will then pre-flight your files prior to upload and report back any serious problems which will prevent an upload or just warnings such as low resolution warnings, and then you can proceed to upload. Once the plugin has processed your files ready for upload, it will open them in your PDF viewer for you to review one last time prior to upload. If everything looks great, click yes to complete the upload, or click no to go back to your InDesign document to re-edit. Your files will then be uploaded directly to Blur, where you'll be brought right to an order page where you can order your book. To order your book, simply check your selections here, and click Add to Cart, and then go through the checkout process. You might notice that we have a Convert to eBook button here. That's for our non-InDesign users. We recommend InDesign users use this link here for instructions on how to create their eBook directly out of InDesign for much better results. So read all about it at the InDesign plugin page, especially at these FAQs, and that'll get you on the right track to making beautiful books, print, or eBooks. And that's about it. This is Joe from Blurb saying thanks for watching.